Welcome to Open Books, the coziest corner in the world. Grab your favorite blanket, find a comfy spot, and let the magic of storytelling take you into a world of dreams. Once upon a time, there was a young man who had lost his father and mother, living alone. Due to poverty, he could only rely on his own hands to work for others. His rice jar at home was empty, and the stove was cold and desolate, sometimes he had to go to bed hungry. One day, as he was returning home, he noticed something shiny by the roadside. Intrigued, he picked up the beautiful snail shell and brought it home, placing it in a water jar. The next day, the young man went out to work as usual. When he returned home in the evening, he saw smoke rising from his chimney from afar, which puzzled him because there was no one at home. Why would the chimney be smoking? He hurried back home, and upon entering the kitchen, he found a blazing fire, with a pot of steaming rice cooking on the stove, along with a bowl of hot dishes beside it. Who did this? But there's no one in the house, the young man exclaimed in surprise. He was too hungry, so he ate a full meal, and then the same thing happened on the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, and for several days. Every day he came home, he found a pot of rice and a bowl of vegetables waiting for him. One day, he decided not to wait until the sun went down and returned home early. When he reached the door, he quietly hid outside the window and waited. Suddenly, he heard noises coming from inside the house. He immediately peeked in and saw a flash of gold in the water jar, and a big girl jumped out and started cooking. Ah, so it's this girl who cooks for me every day, he thought in amazement. Whose girl is this? How could she live in my water jar, he wondered. After the girl finished cooking and tried to return to the water jar, the young man rushed into the house in a single stride. Who are you? he asked. The girl was startled but seeing that it was the young man who had returned, she wasn't afraid anymore, just blushing and keeping silent. Speak up. Who are you? Why do you cook for me every day? The young man pursued, you are a good person, working hard every day, yet you can't even have a proper dinner. Let me take care of you, isn't that good? Thank you for your kindness, but who are you really? How did you come to my house, and why do you live in the water jar? His questions persisted. I didn't come by myself, you brought me back and put me in the water jar. The girl replied softly. The young man thought for a moment and realized. Didn't he bring a snail home and keep it in the water jar? Before long, the young man and the snail girl became husband and wife, living together in love and harmony, growing old together. Their marriage was filled with love and warmth, as they shared each other's joys and sorrows. Despite their humble beginnings, they built a life together that was rich in happiness and contentment. Every day, the young man and the snail girl worked side by side, tending to their home and garden with care. The snail girl's magical touch brought prosperity to their household, ensuring that they never went hungry again. Together, they cultivated a bountiful harvest from their small plot of land, which they shared generously with their neighbors. Their bond grew stronger with each passing year, as they supported and encouraged each other through life's challenges. Whether it was celebrating their successes or facing hardships together, they stood united, facing the world as a team. As time went on, their love only deepened, and they became inseparable companions, sharing a lifetime of cherished memories. With each sunrise and sunset, they found solace and joy in each other's presence, knowing that they were destined to be together forever. That's the end of today's story, I hope you'll listen to this and fall into a deep sleep. 
If you enjoyed tonight's story, please like, subscribe and share this for us before you go to bed. Sleep tight, dream big, and may your night be filled with the most sweet dreams. Good night, my friends.